Well, I'm hoping to make a little bit of headway on the new screwdriver project. Uh, I think I'm going to tackle the rear swing arm. And my plan there is to use the original mounting point on the ATV for the front of the swing arm. I am going to hook it up to this uh, rear strut here. And uh, so it's going to have some suspension in the back. And I'm basically going to make a large T out of uh, plate steel and some tubing for the back here. I'm going to try and keep it as light as possible. Uh, I don't really have a design down on paper or anything. It's all kind of in my head. But I plan on kind of making it like those uh, wooden models that you would buy, say, of a Tyrannosaurus Rex or something, where the plate is slotted and fits together in that way. So I want to come probably straight back off that pivot point from the shock. And then from there, I'm going to bring some arms across, like so. Uh, I'm going to really Swiss cheese it all so it's really light and use some tubing. So I'll start by making the, uh, the main long swing arm here. And I've uh, measured it out to be about two feet long. So uh, again, just make a wood template and then plasma cut that out. Here's the design I came up with for the rear swing arm, the part that goes front to back anyways. So this will mount where the original front of the swing arm mounted. This will be where the, sh new, the sh uh, shock or strut, I should say, on the uh, ATV is mounted. It will be coming up in this direction. And this is going to be sticking out the back. So I'm going to have to cut all this out. Uh, I've made it pretty thin, but your, the plasma cutter is going to add some to that, so it's going to end up probably about yay thick, which is still going to be pretty beefy. I want to make it light, but I, it's got to be still fairly beefy, so I'll cut this all out and then plasma cut it out, and I'll show you what it ends up like. Here's the beginning of the swing arm. We've got these rough cut out. I haven't ground them or smoothed them out at all yet, but um, what I've done next is I've taken a piece of uh, steel tubing. This is actually old roll bar from an old uh, race car I had, but uh, it's 100 wall. Anyways, I threw it in the uh, metal lathe and I squared up both ends so that they're perfectly square to the tube. And that's what I'm going to use to square up these plates as I'll clamp it real tight here and I'm going to weld that up and then that's going to give me a good square starting point to build everything off of. This is where the rear shock would mount on the on the ATV and this is the front pivot point up there. So these will be going like this. So I'll weld that up and then I'm going to kind of just dry fit it on the ATV and start building the back half and then I'll clean it all up after. I don't want to weld the crap out of it in case I have to change everything. Alright, well there's a shock mount, that one's all cleaned up nice, I will do that to this yet, but I haven't gotten there, so pretty much know the position of this, 
boat there. Still very early stages, obviously. Um, I just have a piece of bar going through there. There'll be a bushing and bolt system there and everything. But uh, starting to take shape here. So off of here now, I'm gonna make my rear frame. It's gonna come as a double frame from here. And I'm gonna have some curves in it as well. And eventually all my hydraulics are gonna run through the frame here and down each leg to each motor. Um, I'm going to leave the ends of the things pretty open, pretty generic, because I don't exactly know how I'm mounting motors or what the hell I'm doing yet. So, uh, But I do want to get this done so that I can measure the arc of this suspension, because the front is going to have to be able to move that amount. It's going to have to have that amount of flex. So my plan here is to have the whole machine driven from the back. The front will be just keeping the tips of the screws in place. They, you, they won't be able to pull and push on them. They'll just be floating. All the drive, all the push will be from this back member here. You can kind of see what I'm doing here now. This is the rear uh, swing arm. It's upside down right now. So I finished cutting this out and I've also taken it to a press and bent it to give me this angled action here. So I got this all squared up. I'm just going to weld it and I'm going to fit it on the uh, screw machine there and see what happens. Here's a nice shot of the machine uh, from the rear uh, with the new swing arm uh, attached to the machine. I have it pinned in at the front. I also have the shock installed at the location that it will be running at. So um, you can kind of see how everything's going to sit here. Uh, I did put temporary plates on the um, ends of the arms just so, in order, so I can bolt the rear bearing of the screw to it. I don't really know how the hydraulics are going to mount there yet, so I haven't quite finished that. Also on the back here, there'll be a whole other structural piece stopping this all from twisting. Um, basically I've made a bunch of I-beams here by uh, having flat steel and plate on top. But the thing with an I-beam is it's very strong in that direction and it's fairly strong in that direction, but it's very susceptible to twisting, so uh, this all needs to be boxed much, much stronger than it is. But the reason I, I'm kind of stopping at this point is because I don't know about the hydraulics and I don't know how the motors are going to mount, so I don't want to finish any of this. But I did want to get this installed so I can see the arc that the rear suspension is going to work in. And that's going to allow me to design the front and make sure that they don't bind against each other as this thing compresses. Um, I realize this thing's probably not going to be going fast enough that I'm going to be like hitting bumps and having the suspension really work. Um, more just did it for the fun of it to be honest with you but and just because it's going to be interesting to ride and you'll be able to kind of torque around on it just like you do a quad at uh anyways i'll give you a little bit of a closer look here of what i've done 
uh, with some close shots, but uh, kind of coming from the temporary plate that I put on and going up the uh, back of the machine here, you can kind of see how everything's welded together. I haven't finished welded any of this, so it's uh, still definitely going to be a work in progress. But uh, anyways, I, ho I hope you uh, enjoyed what I've done so far. If you have any ideas, please chuck them out at me. Uh, definitely uh, take a look at them. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.